Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. How are we doing today? Alhamdulillah. Al-yom bi-ithnillah rahna tanawal as-saf al-thalith wal-raba al-ibtida'i maddat al-lugha al-Ingliziya. And today, inshallah, we will be doing enrichment part two for term three. Ma'akum ma'alim asara al-shibayki wa ma'alim ma'alim lugha al-ishara al-ustad Fawaz al-Agil. As always, it's a pleasure. Let's quickly remember our classroom agreements. Please make sure to have a snack before coming to class. Please find a quiet, a quiet, comfortable place. Please remember to have your weekend to book and an English, English notebook for writing time. So what are we going to do today? Today we are going to continue our enrichment by using what we have learned. So we've learned new words. We are now familiar with sounds, right? And reading. So we're going to put all this together in today's lesson. Are we ready? Okay, so today's objectives are Inshallah, we are going to match sounds to letters. We will match words to photos. We will read short stories. We will use prepositions of place in and on. We will use regular plural form. Uh, we will use regular plural formation in context with focus on these and those. We will use assigned words and numbers one to a hundred. We will write guided answers to written questions. We will apply the rules of writing correctly. Okay, so boys and girls, do you remember the different ways of counting? We've learned to count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, right? We've also learned to count by, show me both your hands. How many fingers do you have? 10. We have also learned to count in tens. 10, 20, 30, okay? So now let's refresh our memories. So we learned to, so we have learned to count by ones and in tens. This is how it is by ones, one, two, three. And if we're counting by tens, we start with 10 instead of one, right? So how many circles do you see? Do you remember in our previous lessons when we've learned about shapes? So we see circles and triangles, excellent. So let's count. Do you want to count by ones? Okay, so we have here one, two, three, four, five. We have another five. Five plus five is 10. And here we have one, two, three, four, five. I'm counting triangles. So let's go back and count the circles. How many circles do we have? 10, excellent. How many triangles do you see? By just looking, can you tell how many triangles we have? We need to count them, right? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, another five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we have another ten. So let's take the ten and the ten together. How much do we have? Ten. 20. Excellent. Let's read this question together. How many shapes do you see? So all of this here, we see shapes, right? So we have 20. We have 20 shapes. Now let's count in tens. Let's count the first row. And since all of them are stacked, we know that each row has, let's count first. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Which means that we have ten here, and we have ten here, and we have ten here, right? So let's count by tens. Are you ready? Okay, so let's begin. So here we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. 70, 80, 90, 100. So we have a total of how many shapes? We have a total of 100 shapes. Clear? So what shapes do you see? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There you go. So what are the shapes that you remember? We remember circles, triangles, rectangles, squares. You remember them, right? Excellent. 
Okay, now let's count in tens in blue. What shapes do we have in blue? So this over here and this over here. We said each, each row is how many? 10. So how many rows do we have of blue shapes? Two, which means we have 20. Excellent. So here we have 10 and here we have 10, which means we have 20 blue shapes. Okay, so now boys and girls, we're going to listen and we're going to read and we're going to write. Are we ready? Okay. This is Lama. She wants to be a famous artist one day. When she comes back from school, she goes in her room, grabs her art supplies, and goes out to her backyard. Lemma wears a special hat when she paints. It's called a beret. Lemma loves to paint on a canvas. She puts all her paint tubes on the table. The brushes are always in a cup so they don't get lost. Her favorite things to draw are different kinds of flowers, especially violet blossoms. Okay, so now we're ready to read what we just heard. Okay, or maybe we want to listen to this one more time. Okay, okay. This is Lemma. She wants to be a famous artist one day. When she comes back from school, she goes in her room, grabs her art supplies, and goes out to her backyard. Lemma wears a special hat when she paints. It's called a beret. Lemma loves to paint on a canvas. She puts all her paint tubes on the table. The brushes are always in a cup so they don't get lost. Her favorite things to draw are different kinds of flowers, especially violet blossoms. Okay, so what do we understand from this? We have here a girl, her name is Lemma. She has a dream. What's that dream? She wants to be a famous artist one day. So she's doing what she likes, right? What does she like to do? She likes to paint on a, this thing that you see standing in front of her is called a canvas. Okay, so now let's go back and read what we just heard. So this is Lemma. She wants to be a famous artist one day. When she comes back from school, she goes in her room, grabs her art supplies, and goes out to her backyard. Lemma wears a special hat when she paints. It's called a beret. Lemma loves to paint on a canvas. She puts all her paint tubes on the table. The brushes are always in a cup so they don't get lost. Her favorite things to do to draw, her favorite things to draw are different kinds of flowers, especially violet blossoms. Okay? Did you have a chance to read with me? Even a few words. You had a chance? Okay. Now we're going to continue. Lemma loves to paint on a what? Let's look at the questions. Maybe we can go back and read. How does that sound? So let's read the questions together. Lemma loves to paint on a, she likes to paint on something. She wears a hat called a. Why are the paint brushes in a cup? Let's go back and read together and remember to look for these three pieces of information, okay? Again, this is Lemma. She wants to be a famous artist one day. When she comes back from school, she goes in her room, grabs her art supplies, and goes out to her backyard. Lemma wears a special hat when she paints. It's called a beret. Lemma loves to paint on, on a canvas. 
she puts all her paint tubes on the table. The brushes are always in a cup so they don't get lost. Her favorite things to do, her favorite things to draw are different kinds of flowers, especially violet blossoms. So far so good? Okay. Now let's go to the questions. What does she love to paint on? Remember that thing? It's like a, it's like, um, it's like a frame, a picture frame. It's called a canvas. Excellent canvas. Now she wears a hat. It has a name. Starts with the b sound. Starts with the b sound. It's called a beret. Let's write this down together. Beret. The T doesn't have a sound in this word. Now let's read this question together. Why are the paint brushes in a cup, not on the table? So they don't get lost. Excellent. Let's write this down. So they don't get lost. Full we'll stop. Now let's read together. Lemma loves to paint on what? A canvas. She wears a hat called a beret. Why are the paint brushes in a cup? So they don't get lost. Okay. Lemma loves to paint on a, yes, we forgot the full stop. Lemma wears a hat called a beret. Excellent job. Now we're going to read the text again. This time we're going to look for different pieces of information. The same text, but we're looking for something different. What are we going to look for? For the sounds that we learned together during term three. Okay, are you ready for this? Okay. Let's read this together. This is Lemma. Excellent. The. She sh wants to be a famous f artist one day. When she comes back from school, she goes, she goes, okay, we're not doing that. We're going to do sounds. Okay. When she comes back from school, she goes in her room, grabs her art supplies, remember the p sound, and goes out in her backyard. Lemma wears a special hat when she p paints. It's called a beret. Do you notice other sounds? I circled one of the words, the in and out. We're not going to do that now. We're going to do them later. So what other sounds do you notice? I will leave that one to you. Okay, let's continue now. Lemma loves to paint on a canvas. She puts all her paint tubes. What's special about the word tubes. Do you remember we took the word tube? It has a long U sound. Excellent. Without the E, the magic E, it would be tub. With the E, it's called tube. Excellent. On the table. The brushes, we have the B sound, are always in a cup. Now the word cup has the letter U. Is it short or long? It's short. Excellent. In a cup. Why? So they don't get lost. We have an O in the word lost. Is it short or long? It's short. Excellent. Her favorite 
things, oh, we have another th. This one sounds like this. It's different than th, right? So we have two sounds with the letters th, okay? Her favorite things to draw are different kinds of flowers, especially violet blossoms. So how is that? So we're reading for different purposes, boys and girls. Did you notice that? We read to look for information, and then we read again to look for certain sounds. So this is a very important skill, right? Excellent. Okay, now let's continue. This time we're going to write and use the words these and those in and on. Ready? Now you see the arrow pointing at the tree. Do you think the trees are near or far? They're far. So if we point at something that's far, what do we say? That. If it's more than one, those. Right? Now if something is on top of something, what do we use? In or on? On. If it's inside, like in a jar, we use in. Excellent. Okay. So what can we say here? Those trees are, where are they? On the ground. Let's write it down. Those, please use your notebooks. Those trees are on, excellent, the ground. And we have a full stop in the end, ground. Now the paint, the tubes, the paint tubes, are they near Lemma or are they far away? Look at the arrow. They're near. If, it's, if something is near, what do we say? If it's one thing, we say this. If it's more than one, these. So what do we write? These, let's say these tubes are on the table. Excellent. These tubes are on the table. are on, excellent. All right, so how are we doing? Are you feeling confident? Are you feeling like this language is something you're already used to? Okay, excellent. Now we're going to read each word. We're going to circle the short vowel, okay? The short vowel, and then we're going to underline the long vowel, ready? So we're going to circle short, underline, long. Ready? Brush, we have the U here. Is it short or long? Short. Tube, like these ones over here. It's long, excellent. Cup, short, pin, short. Lime, long, excellent. So now we're going to write the word that matches the drawings. Please write the word that matches the drawing. Notice the long and the short vowels. Are you with me so far? Did you circle and underline with me? So now we're going to take that and we're going to write the full word. Do you remember these pictures? Here we have a picture of a tape, excellent with a long A. Here we have a picture of a tap. Excellent. Is it long or short? It's short. And here we have a rope. Excellent. Now the O here, is it long or short? It's long. And this thing, when you spin it on the table, what is this called? A top. Is it a long or a short O? It's a short O. So far so good? Let's continue. Now look at this picture, boys and girls. What do we see? We can see the man is, where is he? On top of the mountain. So this is another word. This is another meaning for the word top, right? Let's write this down. He is 
on top of the mountain. M O U N T A I mountain. Full stop. So, boys and girls, what did we do today? Today, we used what we've learned in today's lesson, which is an enrichment lesson. And again, enrichment means I'm taking what I've learned and I'm using it in different ways. Okay, so we've learned prepositions of, ta of place. We have in the box, on the box, different kinds of sounds. We reviewed counting and we pointed at things near and far. Okay, show me a thumbs up. How are you feeling about yourself? How is the reading? Okay, did you enjoy the story? Excellent. So before we end today's lesson, let's read this together. It says here, you have something that makes you unique. Let's stop here for a moment. You are special. No one can tell you anything different than that. No one is like you. You have gifts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you gifts and abilities that no one else has. Now, what do we do with these abilities? Let's read the next question. It says here, how will you use that to make the world a better place? So you have a responsibility. Yes, you have a responsibility. The gifts that Allah has given you, talents, skills, things you are good at. How can you use that in your futures to make this world a better place? You're one person, but you can make a difference. Believe that, okay? Thank you so much, boys and girls, and we're done.